Frida Mathur. I am a postgraduate in Forensic Science from the Ministry of Home Affairs. I have worked as a research associate in IIT Delhi and I am currently mentoring students for NEET and other states medical entrance examination. Hi friends, the topic that we will be discussing today is cell. So what is cell? Cell is the smallest unit of any living organism. It is the basic unit and the building block of every organism which is there on earth. Now, what is the purpose of studying the cell? That must be the question in your mind. The purpose is to understand that how our body is able to perform such complex mechanisms. There are so many functions that our body is performing. It is because of the cell that our body is able to perform so many complex metabolic reactions. Each cell is able to perform a specialized function. It is designed in such a way that it has to perform a specific function. And that is why the whole body which is made up of n number of cells is able to perform a complex reaction. Our body is made up of many cells. All these cells combine and form tissues. Many tissues combine and form organ like your heart, like your stomach. And all these organs, these combine and form a organ system. Like your digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system. All these systems are the combination of cells only. Like an organism is made up of single cell. So we call it a unicellular organism like a bacteria. And if it is having multiple cells like us, like you, like me, like plants, like animals, those are multicellular organisms. So every organism on earth is made up of cell. There are many species on earth. So, to classify them, we have made two broad categories. First is your prokaryotic and another is eukaryotic. This classification has been done on the basis of the cell designing. How the cells are designed, on that basis the classification has been done. So, let's have a look how Prokaryotic cells are different from eukaryotic cells. This is a prokaryotic cell. It is the primitive, the simplest cell of all. It does not have any complex mechanism, just a simple cell. And this one is the eukaryotic cell. The eukaryotic cell is an advanced complex cell. So now we will be studying the basic differences between the two cells. The first difference is of in which organisms these types of cells are present. In prokaryotes, in prokaryotes it is the unicellular organism which lie under this category. The unicellular organisms are prokaryotic cells and the multicellular organisms they are eukaryotes. Second difference is of the membrane which is present inside the cell. All the organelles which are present inside the cell are bounded by a membrane, a covering. And this covering is absent in the prokaryotic cells. While this covering is present in all the organelles which are there in eukaryotics. That is why the organelles which are present inside the eukaryotic cell are well designed and prepared to perform a proper function. That is why the eukaryotic cells are so complex and advanced in their mechanisms. Because they are having a proper membrane, they are having proper organelles to perform different different functions. Next difference is of the nucleus. So what is a nucleus? Nucleus is the brain of the cell. Brain as in, it regulates all the functions that a cell has to perform. 
each and every function that a cell has been designed to perform is regulated by the nucleus only. That is why it is the brain of the cell. And this nucleus is not a well-defined structure in case of prokaryotes, but it is a well-defined in case of eukaryotes. So that makes a major difference between the two cells. Next, the bacteria lie in the prokaryotes while the plants and animals lie in eukaryotes. But there is a difference between plant cell and animal cell. Although both are eukaryotes, but still there is a difference. That is why the functions which plants are able to perform, animals are not able to perform. So let's have a look what is the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell. A plant cell is larger in size than the animal cell. It is having a huge space for many organelles inside the cell. One of the organelles is vacuoles, which is present in the plant cell and absent in the animal cell. What is the function of vacuole? Vacuole stores the food and the water. It is present in plant cell, but it is almost absent in animal cell. Or if it is present in the animal cell, it is very small, very small. It does not require much space. That is why the size of plant cell is larger than that of the animal cell. There is a cell wall, a separate cell wall covering the cell membrane of the plant cell. Plant cell is having a cell membrane similar to the animal cell, the covering of the cell, but an extra supportive membrane which is the cell wall is present in the plant cell which provide its rigidity and the shape to the cell. Then it's the plastids. What are plastids? Plastids are like chloroplast. Chloroplast is a type of plastid which is present in the plant cell but absent in the animal cell. That is why plants are able to perform the photosynthesis but animals are not able to do that. That is because of the presence of the plastid. There is one more organelle that is centriole. Centriole are present in animal cell but absent in plant cell. The function is cell division. So there is a proper mechanism of cell division in the animal cells. But such mechanism is not there in the plant cell because of the absence of the centrioles. So these are the differences between the plant cell and animal cell. So to sum up, we have studied that the cell is the basic unit that regulates all the mechanisms in a body. Whatever functions our body is performing, it is because of the cell. We have unicellular organisms, we have multicellular organisms, we have prokaryotes, we have eukaryotes. The designing of the cells differ in both the organisms. Then we have plant cells, we have animal cells. The difference is there because of which the functions of plants and animals are different to each other. In the next class, we will be studying the functions of all the organelles which are present inside the cell and we will be studying how they are responsible for regulating the mechanism of the cell and the whole body. Thank you and see you soon.